What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I am starting out my reading vlog for the Very Merry Readathon. Today is December 15th and it happens from the 15th to the 21st so I figured I would vlog it. I figured that this would be the perfect opportunity to do my reading vlog for Lucky Caller by Emma Mills because in my book haul you guys said that you wanted a reading vlog of me reading this book. It comes out in January and I already started it and I'm really enjoying it and I will get to my TBR in a second and because I haven't posted any Christmas content besides the books decide what I buy video I thought that I would vlog this and do some Christmas things because I haven't vlogged in a while Oh fuck, that sucks, what happened? I thought that's what he said. Is he okay? It was a late hit. And Joel Player isn't on the ice, it's not a major. But Joel, bud, stop it. Stop being... <laughs> Just stop doing that, Joel. Joel! Very Merry Readathon was created by one of my favorite small booktubers, Hannah at Tiny Book Dragon, and I think that this is my first time participating because these kind of readathons are so hard for me to participate in because I have so much happening with school and they just overlap, but finally I'm finished and I can actually read and complete all of the challenges that I need to. Very Merry Readathon was created by one of my favorite small booktubers, Hannah at Tiny Book Dragon. Her co-hosts are Vanessa at Paper Fairy, Melissa from The Bookish Babbler, Krista at Bookish Porcupine, and Christina at Christina's Journey. So all of that will be linked down below if you want to go and check out their channels and check out the readathon if you missed it. So I have a lot of shit to get done this week and I haven't done any Christmas things. So I do have a list that I want to complete. I'll talk about that later, but right now I'm gonna talk about my TBR. I don't have like a finalized TBR and I feel like I'm probably going to change it around, but here is the TBR I have for now. So the first challenge, is to read a book set during the holidays and I'm going to be listening to the audiobook of The Chaos of Standing Still by Jessica Brody. This is my friend Reggie at Don't Stop Readin's favorite book. She really loves this. She gave it a five star. This is about two people who meet at a airport while they're snowed in and it talks about grief and death and it's a dark contemporary but it's set during the holidays and I'm excited to read it. I know Reggie gave it a five star and I feel like I'm going to really enjoy it. Next is to read a book with Christmas or holiday colors on the cover and I celebrate Christmas so I'm going with the classic red and green and I'm going with Lucky Caller by Emma Mills and this has green on the cover and that completes that challenge. This is the book that I started today. I'm really enjoying it. I put this on my TBR initially just for this vlog and because I just wanted to read some Emma Mills this week and I didn't actually know that it's set during Christmas. When I opened the book, the first line says, it was Christmas and Dan was in the middle of proposing to my mom when there was a knock at the door. So I'm really enjoying it so far. I haven't read Emma Mills in a while, um, but I also have another Emma Mills book on this TBR and that is for the challenge to read a book with snow in the title. So I have Famous in a Small Town by Emma Mills and we have S-N-O-W. I really love this challenge. It's really fun and it brings me back to Readorama. I don't know much about this, but I just read the cover really quick and it says that um, the girl works at an ice cream shop and I love ice cream. So I feel like I'm going to enjoy this book. Originally, I thought I wouldn't because I heard something different about it, but now I'm hooked again. <laughs> okay, here are the next two challenges that I am not sure about. I'm just gonna start having a mental prepare about hockey because I really miss Travis Connect. Travis, please come back. I miss you. We all miss you so much. Why? I'm just really having a tough time with hockey right now. Our team is falling apart. So the last two challenges, I'm not set in stone with these, but here are the books that I would like to get to. So the next challenge is to read a book by the fire and I would like to do a graphic novel for this or a middle grade, we'll see, because I have two coming from the library. I need to go to the library tomorrow to get them. So I have Stargazing by Jen Wang, which came out this year and I really wanted to get to it. And I have a middle grade that I have on hold from the library and this is When Santa Went to Earth. I always love reading a graphic novel or a middle grade book during the week of a readathon. And I wanted to read a Christmas book and I really didn't have many on my TBR. Besides Lucky Caller, apparently. Didn't know about that. Um, that was very lucky. 
I know one person probably laughed at that and that one person was me. And then the last challenge is just to read a book because you want to and that is the hardest challenge for me because I don't know what I want to read <laughs> because I have options and there's so many books I want to read right now. I have a lot of books on hold from the library but here are just three books that I would like to fit into this challenge. First is Landline by Rainbow Rowell. I just watched Chelsea's vlog and Alexa's vlog, um, Chelsea from Chelsea Dawning Reads and Alexa from Library of Alexa and they were just reading Landline and Landline is one of my favorite Rainbow Rowell books and I haven't read it in a while and so I might pick it up this week because I really want to read it now that I've seen everyone reading it and I'm like I need to reread it. I love this book but I'm kind of terrified because I feel like maybe I'm not gonna like it but we'll see. Um, we'll see if I can do it. I'm just kind of scared about that but I don't know. Maybe it'll be fine and I won't feel like that. Um, but I also have Small Town Hearts. I don't know. Yesterday I was just thinking about it and I was like hey I kind of want to read this. And then last I have Us Against You by Frederick Bachman which is the sequel to Bear Town which I started and I never finished. Um, and I love hockey and it has some snow on the cover so it is a wintry book and maybe it's set during Christmas, who knows. So that is my TBR for now. I am reading Lucky Caller like I said and it's so good. I would like to finish it today but it probably won't happen because it's 6.30 so I don't know. I went Christmas shopping today so I really didn't get a lot of reading done mainly because I forgot my book at home because I am dumb. Um, but I would like to get some finished of this. It's currently 6.30. Hockey is on but I'm about to just turn it off because we're losing 6-1 and I've already cried enough over hockey and I don't want to keep crying about it. Um, and that's just mainly because we have some players hurt. Um, our one player was diagnosed with cancer. Uh, cried a lot of that. And so I'm just gonna read and forget about my problems and update you when I have more to say about Lucky Caller and it's probably gonna just be me saying that it's really good. Um, but yeah, gonna read it and I will <laughs> come back. So it's a little while later and I'm just gonna talk about my to-do list for the week. First is to make a book snowman. I'll put some pictures up on the screen of what I mean but I've seen this on bookstagram for a couple years now and I've always wanted to do it but I've never felt like I could so this year I'm gonna attempt it because I saw Kat at Brews and Reviews try and make a book tree and if she could do it I can do it so I'm not making a tree but I'm making a snowman and I feel like both are really hard so we'll see and I think that the hardest thing is going to be seeing if I have enough books that are white um so please pray for me. Next on my list is to read by the fire which is a reading challenge. I really want to make this challenge a priority so that's why I put it on my list. So I want to read by the fire when we make a fire by the fireplace. Next is to bake Christmas cookies. I love baking and I especially love baking Christmas cookies. I have a couple in mind. First being snickerdoodles, second being spritz cookies which are butter cookies and I have a cookie press and I always struggle with these but it's fun to try and attempt them. Last I want to make chai tea eggnog cookies which I haven't made in a while and I want to make them again because last time when I made them eggnog was not in season and now since it's Christmas it is in, sne it is in season not sneezing. I've made these once before but when I made them eggnog wasn't in season and now it is in season so I'm like I want to attempt this again. They're really fun and I will have all the recipes down below when I do them. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna go and get everything. I really need a lot of baking ingredients because I'm out. Next is putting ornaments on the tree which I actually already did today um, so I will insert the clips now. Um, I haven't done it yet and so to tonight we decided we would do it. I put all my flyers ornaments up and now it's Christmas. Next is to decorate my TBR cart and my bookshelves because I haven't done them yet but it's going to be a Patreon video. I got my TBR cart on the day I won NaNoWriMo which you can watch that video up here of me just talking about the process of winning and my experience doing it for the first time and so I went to Michael's and I got myself a TBR cart and it 
is amazing. <laughs> and last, I just want to put up a bookstagram picture I haven't posted in a while since like the Queer Lit Readathon, which was the beginning of the month, and I'm slacking. And I really just want to take a picture of one of my books under the tree, and it'll probably be Lucky Caller. Um, I love those kind of pictures, and yeah. I feel like the seasons are, I feel like the holiday season is the best time to take pictures. So I'm gonna get back to reading Lucky Caller and I will talk to you guys later and maybe tomorrow when I have more updates on my reading. Today we are making a book snowman. What's up guys? It is day two of the Very Merry Readathon and I'm just having a bad hair day this morning. My hair is just being weird. I tried to brush it and it just doesn't want to work with me today. Um, but I woke up like an hour ago, I read some of Lucky Color this morning, and I'm really enjoying it. Like, I am hooked into this now, um, but I have just a, like a little problem. But, so I'm gonna spend the rest of the morning reading Lucky Color. Um, there's a lot of things that have to be done today. I have to go to the library, we have to finish up shopping, um, I have to go and get stuff for decorations for my bookshelf and all. Um, and I want to make a snowman out of books. Um, so that's why all my books are already in piles because I had a count. And I didn't think I had a lot of white books, but apparently I do. Um, so thank you to all the arcs that are white. Um, white is coming back into the book cover game, apparently. Um, so I'm really excited to do that, but... I realized that I need to get construction paper and stuff because I actually have to make a snowman um, and I have to find like a scarf and all. So that's why I just put the books out here and then I'll just do it later. Especially, hopefully like the light will come out. It's like 10 a.m. and I don't think that that's happening today. Um, I also have to go and mail. I am sending Becca some arcs that I got duplicates of and they're middle grade and I know that they'll really enjoy them. Yeah, um, lucky color is really good. I'm really enjoying it. I really like Emma Mill's writing. It's really good. But now that I've like written a book, I just keep thinking about what I would do. Don't let the lighting fool you. It's actually 3.30 in the afternoon, but it's been raining and the lighting, it's so dark in my room. You probably can't see on my camera, but in my room, it's super dark because it's been raining and the sun is just not out anymore. Um, I think we lost the sun. If anyone knows where the sun is, that would be great. I did some reading and some shopping and I went to the library finally. So I will have a library haul, kind of, because some of the books are secret for a secret TBR I'm doing. I'm only on page 60 of Lucky Caller and I am loving it so much. After this, I'm just gonna read because I wanna finish it today. It's so good. I'm really, really enjoying it. And I'm excited to see where the story goes. Um, and yeah, that's kind of all I have to say about that. Uh, and that's kind of it. I also got construction paper to make the book snowman later. Here is my library haul. First, I have this graphic novel that is Stage Dreams by Melanie Gilman. I don't know why it looks like this, but it is a graphic novel. And I just read her other graphic novel called As the Crow Flies, I think. And it is a queer middle grade and it touches on faith and it's good. I liked it, um, but this is her newest one and I wanted to read this for the Queer Lit Readathon but it didn't come in in time because it's new. So maybe I'll get to that this week. Um, I love me a graphic novel. Next, I have the middle grade I was talking about which is When Santa Fell to Earth. It is so small, so hopefully I will get to read it tomorrow. Um, Next, I have In an Absent Dream by Shauna McGuire because I need to get to this because it came out this year in January and I still haven't gotten around to it. And I wanted to read it rather than listen to the audiobook because originally I listened to the audio but I just wasn't feeling captivated into the story so I want to read it physically. And last is Stargazing by Jen Wang which is on my TBR for this week. It is so small. <laughs> so small but I am so excited to read this and that's it that is the library haul I will go film the clip that I need to film for my secret TBR and then get back to reading and then I will come back when I have read 
much more of Lucky Color. Um, it is time to make a book snowman. I cleared out the top of my TBR cart so I could put the book here and I cut out the pieces of construction paper. I have some black circles for the eyes and the mouth and then I cut out a thing that looks like a carrot. Hopefully it looks like a carrot. Um, and then I'm going to top it off with my Hufflepuff scarf. I'm so excited. I hope it works out. Wish me luck. snowman leave a comment down below what I should name him and the comment with the most likes will be the snowman's name and go over to my Instagram at pucks and paperbacks to like the picture of my snowman so I redid the book snowman because I realized that its eyes were actually on like the hat and not on the actual like white part so now it's fixed just needs a name so comment down below what we should name it and now it's fixed. Go over to Instagram, like the picture, and everything's good. It's not, it's just like you never even saw the one that was bad, but I'm still probably going to include it. <laughs> What's up guys, it's day three of the Very Merry Readathon. It's around 4 p.m. and I just finished Lucky Caller by Emma Mills. I said I was gonna finish it last night, but I went to bed and I was tired, so that didn't happen. But I'm glad that I kind of savored it because I really miss it now that I finished it. It is a five star, it comes out on January 14th and I suggest to pick it up. You guys need to pick this up. I've only read one other Emma Mills but now I am so excited to read more and now that I have Famous in a Small Town on my TBR for this week I just can't wait to dive into it but I'm not gonna just dive right into that. I'm gonna read my middle grade but if you enjoyed her book, Foolish Hearts, the band from that is actually in here. And so if you enjoyed that, I think you would like that. I've never read Save the Date by Morgan Matson, but I feel like if you enjoyed that book, you will like this because there is a lot of wedding elements in this. I'm definitely going to listen to this on audio when it comes out because there's a lot of radio elements and I feel like the dialogue of those will go really well in an audiobook. This is about four teens who are assigned a group project in the radio broadcasting class to do a radio show for the semester and they pick Sounds of the 90s. So if you like 90s, I think you'll also enjoy this. Um, even if you don't, if you like childhood friends to lovers, I think you'll enjoy this. It's also set in an apartment. So if you like that kind of thing, I think you would enjoy that. Um, I just really enjoyed it and I'm really sad that it's over and I really, really enjoyed it. I also want to point out that there's a really good sister dynamic in this. Nina, the main character, she has three sisters. She is the middle child, her sister Rose is the oldest, and then the youngest is Sydney, and she's into theater. So I just feel like that this was really Emma Mills, and if you enjoyed her other books, you will definitely enjoy this one. Um, 
I loved it and I'm really sad that it's over. So now it's almost 4.30. I'm going to go and write my Goodreads review for this. It will be linked down below if you want to read it. Um, but I kind of am probably going to write just everything that I just said. Then I'm going to start When Santa Went to Earth by Cornelia Funke. And hockey's coming on at 7. And my favorite player, Travis Konechny, he is finally back in the lineup. And I'm really excited. And you've probably already seen me in the beginning of this cry and complain that he's not in um but now i'm really excited so i'm going to try and get this out of the way i've got this out of the way so that is it for right now and i will update you guys later when i have gotten through this and hopefully i actually get this done because i feel like in all my vlogs i always lie and i say i'm gonna do something and i never actually do and then i feel bad about it but it's fine. This is life. This is what happens. I'm sure this is really relatable. Three games wide, all of a sudden, then you're bumper to bumper with teams behind you in playoff races, and all of a sudden you're looking at Leafs and Lightning down there competing. Oh my god, you're so So cute. all that goodwill in November, boy, it didn't take long in December to make, make your, you forget about that and hope. You mm know -hmm. you're, you know you're cute. You know the camera's on you. You know that cute. So I put on my Marvel hat because my hair is just not working for me today, but it's 9.30 and I think I'm going to close out for today. Um, I read Lucky Color, loved it, 5 out of 5 stars, which I already talked about. I started When Santa Fell to Earth and I'm not that far and I don't think I'm going to really enjoy it that much. Um, but Lucky Color was so good that I think that nothing can really help me right now. Um, but that's fine. I feel like I just am maybe not in the mood for this, but I'm honestly just gonna read it anyway. Possibly. I don't know. We'll see what it really happens tomorrow. I'm really just gonna, like, go to bed, honestly, I think. I'm so tired. I don't know if you can even tell, but I made coffee and that didn't really help. I tried to take a nap for, like, a couple minutes, like, 20 minutes I probably took a nap for. It just didn't work out, and, um... Yeah, so I'm gonna get a good night's sleep. I feel like I want to start Landline tomorrow and maybe just try this. I don't know. I don't really know what's happening tomorrow, but I would like to decorate my bookshelf tomorrow. Um, we got some snow for my bookshelves. Um, my mom got it at the store, so thanks mom for that. I'm really tired. I'm gonna watch just some YouTube probably like one YouTube video and then go to sleep because I'm just really tired that I mentioned that I'm really tired. Only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Only know you love her when you let her go. What's up guys? It's Wednesday. It is day four of the Very Merry Readathon. It's a quarter to four in the afternoon. Since it's later in the day, my day is kind of just getting started with the readathon. So I started reading this morning, but I DNF'd the book that I was reading, which is When Santa Came to Earth. I was just really not feeling it and I just DNF'd it because I just wasn't enjoying it. So I started the Chaos of Standing Still audiobook. So I'm going to listen to that while I wrap gifts. This afternoon, me and my sister finished up our Christmas shopping. So I think I'm finished with everything, which is so good. Um, me and her really just like got things for our parents and we're going to combine them and just say that they're from both of us. So that was pretty easy. Um, and so I think I do have everything done, but I got this for my bookshelf. It is some snowflake garland and I'm actually really excited, but it's white. So I don't know if it's going to work, but I do have some ribbon that I might just put in with it. I don't want to be like too much because like I don't really decorate and I kind of feel weird about decorating. And I got some new cookie cutters. I've been meaning to get some, so they were really cheap at TJ Maxx, so I got these ones, and they're like really good. The ones that I have are kind of like plastic, so I'm either gonna make uh, sugar cookies or gingerbread, because I do have the gingerbread mix, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, and I got a baking sheet because I really needed another one and so that's my haul i'm going to wrap gifts listen to my audiobook and do whatever else i need to do What's up? 
It's 7.46. I'm currently on chapter 5 of The Case of Standing Still. The audiobook's pretty good. I got a lot done. Uh, so we love an audiobook. Um, maybe I'll listen to Landlord on audio. I don't know. I got a lot done listening to the audiobook. I love audiobooks for that purpose, just so I can get everything done and multitask. I love that so much. Uh, so yeah, got a lot done. Uh, one of my favorite books is The Beauty That Remains. You probably already know that, but if you don't, I really like that book. So because I love that book, I feel like I'm really going to enjoy this one because the main character, Rin, in the case of Standing Still, she lost her best friend due to a car accident and she feels like she's guilt- she feels guilty. One of the characters in The Beauty That Remains has a similar situation to the main character in The Case of Standing Still, which is that they both feel guilty that their friends died in a car accident when they should have been there. Um, so I feel like that's why I'm gonna really enjoy this and I just love- I just love the trope of like being stranded somewhere. I don't know why, but I just love the trope of like being in an airport and just, I don't know, I think just like the synopsis of this book is something that really appeals to me and I love, I feel like just everything I love is in this book. But I just have one little rant and that is that I just hate when authors can't write therapists correctly. I don't know if this is just me not having this experience with therapists, but when I went to therapy, it wasn't like how books write it. Because like when you go to therapy, they're not gonna know your life and they're not gonna just be like, oh, so what about this and this and this? And it's like every time I read a book with a therapist, they just never write it correctly and it's so annoying because it's like, do your research. But I don't know, I feel like maybe I could just be saying this based off of my experience in therapy and maybe therapists are like this, but I kind of feel like they're not. It's day five of Very Merry Readathon. I finished the chaos of standing still at one in the morning. I was listening to the audiobook and it was so good. I gave it a four because I didn't feel like it was a five and I just had some problems where they, obviously the therapy problem and they called the therapist a shrink and like every character called them a shrink and I didn't like that. She had an obsession with just looking things up on Google. I thought it was weird because the other characters would say that it was strange but like I don't think it's that strange but it added to her character and at the end like you understood why that was put in but it just kind of made me feel weird because I was like if I have a question I always google it so I don't know why you guys are saying it's strange because it's really not that strange um but I thought the grief was done so well if you've read this book definitely read The Beauty That Remains because it's so similar and me and Reggie were just texting or texting right now about it and we're saying that this had such a good ending and most books with grief don't have good endings. Today's plan is to start Landline. I might start the audiobook. We'll see how I feel. Today's Thursday. There's two more days of the readathon. So left on my list is Read by the Fire, which I'll either do tomorrow or Saturday. Um, Big Christmas Cookies, which I'll do today. Decorate TBR card. already did that and post a bookstagram photo. I would like to do that today and I want to take a picture of Lucky Caller. I have not stopped thinking about Lucky Caller since I read it and there's so many things that I, I just have questions and I really hope that in the final copy I get those questions but I can't stop thinking about it. Like that's just what I've been thinking about constantly. It was a good one. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, I'm gonna watch some YouTube Start a landline, and then I'll talk to you guys later. Scotty was theirs. Georgie had hired him two shows back, and he was the best gag writer they'd worked with. Seth and Georgie were better at writing situations. Weirdness that twisted into more weirdness. Jokes that-
If you ever wanted to know how short I actually am, I'm currently sitting on two pillows just so that I can get in frame and not look super short. What's up guys, it's 9.45. I have some reading updates. I've been listening to the audiobook for Landline. It's so good. I just love me a full cast. Oh, that's like my guilty pleasure. It's just an audiobook with a full cast. I just love this book and it's just making me remember why. And actually, like I'm kind of remembering things about it, but I haven't read this, I think, since like 2014, possibly. So I'm currently 156 pages in, so I'm like in the middle of the book. I think if I just listen to the rest of the audio, I could finish it today. And then I just have two more books left in my TBR and that's it. I think I'm gonna prioritize Famous in a Small Town for Friday and Saturday just so I don't have to like rush myself but I'm also going to read Stargazing on either of those days. Maybe tomorrow because I don't have like a lot to do tomorrow. Honestly I really want tomorrow to be like an edit and reading day but now I get to cross off baking cookies from my to-do list because I baked gingerbread cookies which I've never made before and I baked chai tea eggnog cookies which I'm pretty sure I got these from one of the To All the Boys Love Before books. I think it might have been the second one but in other news I'm really happy because the Flyers just won six to one against the Buffalo Sabres. <sighs> it was so good. Uh, my boy Travis Connecting got in a fight and he literally jumped on a guy because the guy cross-checked him in the face. If you don't know hockey you probably have no idea what I'm saying but they basically just got his stick and pressed it to his face or like did like that to him to his face and we do not like that so my boy Travis just jumped on top of him but he's also coming off of a concussion so that's why I was like oh we don't like that why would you do that but we won so suck it if you're a Buffalo Sabres fan um and if not have a nice day I'm kind of just like upset I guess um because it's kind of just now hitting me that today JK Rowling was transphobic and I now am just so pissed off about it I'm not even like pissed off I'm just like hurt I don't know like I, I'm not like that big of a Harry Potter fan, but I do collect Harry Potter stuff and I just love Harry Potter. Like I love the movies and everything. Yeah, so that whole situation just really hurt me. And now I just wanna take my box set and put it in a closet, never see it again. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't really care if you accept me or not, but also like someone that I really appreciate their words and everything. I mean, not anymore. Sometimes that stuff bothers me. Other times I'm like, I could care less because I just don't care if you accept me or not. Like that's really not any of your business unless you're making like a state law or you're like doing something that could affect my life. That's all I really care about. But this is a Christmas vlog. So we're gonna not get sappy or upset I'm gonna finish Landline and probably cry over that too just because it's so good and I love this book and I'm really glad I picked it up. That's it for now. I'll probably update tomorrow when I have more because it's already 10 o'clock and I just kind of want to read and forget everything of today besides the fact that I baked cookies because they were really good and I don't want to forget that the Flyers won because it was a good one. We never really get six goals and I was really happy about that. So on the bright side, that's what happened today. What's up guys? It's day six of the Very Merry Readathon. This morning, <laughs> this morning I finished Landline. I was going to finish it last night, but I just got really tired and I listened to most of the audiobook, but I just didn't get to finish it. Finished it this morning. So glad that I read this. This is one of my favorite Rainbow Rowell books and just one of my favorite books ever. And I am so glad that I read it. I feel like this book means more to me now that I'm an adult and I'm just so glad that I read it. I could relate to Neil so much. He's a short king. I could remember most things from when I originally read it, but I couldn't remember if that actually happened. So once the things that I remembered actually happened, I was like, oh, okay. I did remember that correctly. I highly recommend this if you haven't picked it up yet. Uh, it's a good one and that's it. This is my favorite Rainbow Rowell book. Um, so now this marks me off at three books and now I just still have two more to go. So now this checks off the challenge to read a book because I wanted to and now I have two more. So I've already read three books. 
I have Stargazing by Jen Wang for the challenge to read a book by the fire. And today I'm going to start Famous in a Small Town for a book with snow in the title. Um, I'm going to edit and do some things just like chill because I just need a little break. Um, and yeah, that's it. But I don't, I don't really have a lot going on today. Today is probably going to be more of an editing and reading day. So these are the two books I need to finish. I'm probably going to do it because I'm very competitive when it comes to readathons. <laughs> And yeah, I'll update you guys later when I have more read. So I started Famous in a Small Town. Now I just want to binge every MML's book that I haven't read yet and reread This Adventure Ends because I just love her writing and I feel like we've got a new favorite contemporary author. Yeah, I just want to binge all of her books because her writing is so fun and I love that she incorporates things from her other books. What's happened so far is Sophie, the main character, her best friend Brie, was fired from the Yum Yum shop, which is the town's ice cream shop, which is so funny to me because where I live, there is a donut shop called Yum Yums. Now, every time I read a Yum Yum shop, I think of Yum Yums, the donut place that also sells coffee and like breakfast. Yeah, they're like making fun of this place. I don't know why, but I just really love Emma Mills. I'm really loving this. My favorite book is Stay Sweet and it's given me those kind of vibes. I just love a good small town story. We just met a guy who is like this one guy's brother. And so, yeah, uh, I feel like I'm really gonna love this. I really love a book about ice cream and small town. I will update you guys later when I have more to talk about, but I just can't wait to get back to this book. So I'm going to get back to the book. Um... It's 3.15. I'm not finished yet, but I'm so close to being finished. But it's one of those books where I need to take a break, like I just need to take a little breath, um, chill for a second, and then get back to reading it because I'm excited to see how it ends, uh, but it's definitely hitting me in the feels right now. Currently five o'clock, around like 4.30, I finished Famous in a Small Town. I gave it a five star. It was so good, so good. This week I've given both Emma Mills books five stars and they definitely deserve them. I really enjoyed this. I cried, I just had a good time and I just loved spending the day just reading. And now I want to binge every Emma Mills book that I haven't read and binge all the ones that I've already read. We don't really see her parents, we know of them, but we don't really see them in the book and I really wish I would have had that. And I kind of felt like, I guess this is just like a theme that she writes boys who have like a troubled past um, or are just on their own, like things like that. Uh, if you've read her books, maybe you'll understand. But whoa, I just really enjoyed this. It was so good and um, it was definitely not what I expected. Uh, I thought that she would be working at a ice cream shop, but that did not happen at all. But I just love books about small towns and I just really enjoyed this. And now I've gotten Becca on the Emma Mills train and they just bought all of her books and are going to read them and that's awesome. I just can't wait for them to read it because then we can talk about this book. <laughs> Overall, I just really enjoyed this, so now I can check off the challenge to read a book with snow in the title. This was the one, and now I just have to read Stargazing. Uh, I'm gonna give myself a little bit. Did I mention that I really liked this book? I really liked this book, so I'm gonna give myself a little break. Uh, I'm gonna read this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to read it by the fire, but I also need to take my bookstagram photo because I meant to do that all week and I never did. Uh, so I love that for myself, but yeah, that's kind of it for the rest of the night. I will update you when I have finished stargazing because I will and then I will have finished my whole TBR and I'm really proud of myself. Okay, I'm gonna make this super quick because hockey's currently on 
It's commercial break and I'm going to talk as fast as I can just to say I started stargazing. I'm 100 pages in. I've just been reading it during intermission and commercial break. It's so good. I'm really loving it. I really like her other- I really liked her other graphic novel called The Prince and the Dressmaker. So this was definitely an anticipated release of the year and I'm just now getting to it. And just like that, commercial break is over. But I am going to be having a lot of graphic novel content in 2020 because I just want to recommend them more because I've read them a lot and I feel like I should give you the recommendation. So that's going to be happening. Time to watch hockey and when hockey's over I'll come back and take my bookstagram picture and update you on the final minutes of the readathon. Only the Flyers would go into a shootout the night that I have things to do because I need to finish reading Stargazing, which you can't really see because of the lighting. Um, and then I still have to take my bookstagram picture. And so this is my life right now. Okay, gonna watch hockey, read. I'll be back later. Bye. <laughs> okay, so just after I filmed that clip, we won. Awesome. And I'm going to finish my book during the last hours of the readathon. It's 11 o'clock and I have finished all of the books on my TBR for the Very Merry Readathon. I am so happy right now. I'm just gonna go through my wrap up of all the books I've read, but I'm gonna just start with Stargazing because I just finished it. I gave it a four, like a four and a half star out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. There was so much in here and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a graphic novel. This was just so cute. It's a middle grade about these girls, Christine and Moon, and they meet when Moon moves to their town. And it is just so nice and it was just awesome. It has Asian representation which is own voices because Jen Wang herself is Asian. There's a lot of Asian representation because Jen Wang herself is Asian so this is an own voices book and she wrote in her author's note that there is a scene like that happens in the book to one of the characters and that is based on her own experience from her childhood and I really liked that she incorporated that but it definitely hit me in the feels just like most of the books on this TBR have. But I didn't give it the full five stars just because it is called Stargazing and I thought it would be more about stars but it's really more about k-pop and music and like these two girls becoming friends and there's like a scene of stars but there's not like I don't know like stars aren't like the biggest thing in the book and I feel like if that's the title it should be. That's just a little nitpicky but overall this is definitely a graphic novel that I would recommend. Uh next we have Lucky Caller which I started out the readathon with. Five stars, so good. This comes out January 14th. It is about this girl named Nina who lives in an apartment and she has this friend named Jamie. There's like a childhood friends to lovers romance and I still have not stopped thinking about this book. Like it's just haunting me, it's going everywhere with me and I just really really enjoyed it. Continuing on the Emma Mills train, we have Famous in a Small Town by Emma Mills and this was also a five star. It was so good and oh it was so good and that's like all I have to say. It is about this girl. This is about this girl named Sophie who lives in a small town and she's obsessed with this girl named Megan Pleasant who is a country star and she is from the town and she's trying to get her to come to her fundraiser for a fall festival. This definitely gave me Gilmore Girls vibes and it was like this season of Gilmore Girls where Jess comes in and so if you like that read this book. I just love small towns and I just loved this. It was so good. I also just love a sarcastic and brooding male protagonist and it was definitely not what I thought it would be but like I said I really enjoyed it. Five stars. Next I listened to The Chaos of Standing Still by Jessica Brody on audiobook and I gave this a four star. This was such a good dark contemporary about grief and it is set during the 24 hour period in an airport where this girl named Bryn is stuck in an airport she's snowed in and she meets this guy 
and it was just so good. It was a great dark contemporary with grief and that's really all I can say. And if you liked the statistical probability of love at first sight, I feel like you'll really enjoy this. If you're looking for a seasonal book, I definitely recommend that one. Or if you're just looking for like a wintry book, highly recommend that if you haven't read it yet. It was so good. And then I reread and listened to Landline on audiobook. Gave it a five star. It is my favorite Rainbow Rail book. The rating hasn't changed, but I feel like the experience was so different because now that I'm approaching adulthood and I'm more in adulthood, I can relate to this. And Neil, I can relate to him so much. And he is a short king and we stand. So that is going to end the reading vlog for Very Merry Readathon. Definitely go and check out all of the hosts. They will be linked down below. I loved this readathon. It was so fun. And I'm so glad that I got so many five stars. I have read so many five stars this year and I'm so happy about it. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, go and hit subscribe to become a paperback pal. I also have a Patreon if you would like to support me there. I post exclusive videos and I'm also working on a vlog for that right now. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.